M0 FXP. Massive thanks to Dave Golf 7 Echo Papa Echo for telling me which wires connect from the GPS module to the 2.5 jack that's plugged into the side of the FTX1. And I have written it here. So you can see now you plug in the, the connector that comes in the package that you get from Amazon. And it does come with a couple of connectors. But plug in the one that has got like six wires. You've got a, a yellow and a green and a white at the end there. But I've snipped them all. And we've left the, the black, the blue and the red there. And you can see the little green light flashing. And then on the on the 2.5 jack plug the connectors and I've snipped the ones that we don't use just to keep it simple so we've got the black going to the green that you'll see here black to green we've got the blue comes from here and remember we're not swapping any of these around on here we just plug it in get rid of the ones we don't need and then we've got the blue goes to the white and the night the easy one is the red to red so red to red there's a GPS module that's the 2.5 jack cable that you can order directly from the link in the description black to green and blue to white and look we've got a gps lock there give it a couple of minutes so it starts to flash and press and hold the function like so and go forward until you see let's find the let me have think now go back well to turn on the gps you want to go to operation settings go to option and then GPS here on just tap it on then set the board rate 9600 and you're done it's turned on then just go back once it's on it will flash and then when it's a proper lock it will stay on um, just like you're seeing there be nice if that was a color or like green or something anyway then go to APRS list of so forward and back to see APRS list tap it and then go to where is it Station list, yeah, there it is. Station list, and look, it says here GPS, and it works. Now, these parts only cost in the UK about 15 pounds delivered. I'm not trying to do this to replace the original module. I've you know, I've actually got the uh, another one here that works really well, which was um, was about 25 pounds, which is this, this one. Sorry, it's uh, not the clearest video. Uh, but this one here uh, with a 2.5 jack and it's made by let's have a look at the company here sure something I'll put the link in for it okay and I like it because you can move it around the one that comes with the radio you know you it's sort of stuck to the side like a yeah like a thing I like a bit of uh, and the reason I wanted to make one was, of course, I'm a ham radio operator. Of course, I want to have a go at making stuff. That's what it's all about. So anyway, massive thanks. And I couldn't have done this at all without help from my hams. Uh, Dave was messaging me weeks ago by, and he soldered his and made it all look neat with heat shrink and all the rest of it. But I said I wanted to put something together that I knew that any person, even if they're not technical, could put it together in about a minute. And now that um, thanks to Dave again. We've got the, you know, we just plug that in there, connect those three wires, it works. And um, hope this helps and uh, enjoy tinkering. That's what the hobby is all about. Thanks very much. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.